2008 was a huge milestone year for Post Time because we celebrated our 10th birthday. Can you believe it? We've been on the air since 1998 and we had a special show to honor the accomplishment. Do you have a prop or do you know really, you know, what I can do? Well, maybe this would work. I don't know, you tell me. Oh, perfect. The show just keeps getting better and we just keep having more fun with each year and this past season proved that. Where do we start? Well, we did go to a big party in the very beginning of the year where we saw two Delmarva horses honored as the best in all of North America for 2007. Snow White, out of the Kevin Lair stable, was voted the two-year-old Philly Trotter of the year and Southwind Tempo, trained down and co-owned by Toby Lynch Jr., brought home three-year-old Philly Pacer of 2007. They both received Dan Patch Awards. Speaking of Dan Patch, the greatest harness horse of all time, we had an entire show dedicated to this pacing wonder. Talking about his accomplishments, the incredible castle he lived in, and his crazy good new book. We also went back in time by reenacting the interesting life story of Goldsmith Maid, the winningest harness horse in history. So nobody won any Emmys for their performance, but who knows, Hollywood could be calling any day. You got schooled watching Post Time, literally. We headed to the track and found out what it means to take your horse to school. We talked about the basics and discovered the difference between a trotter and a pacer. We were educated about some beautiful, furry-footed, gentle giants who came to visit Delmarva in the summer. And we even found out what a parrot mouth is on a horse and got a production lesson from Brandon Givens. Brandon Givens is watching. Brandon, your teeth don't look like this, do they? No, you got nice teeth. Brandon's, everybody's a producer. Brandon on the sidelines telling me what to do. <laughs> My favorite education feature was when I learned how to pick out the next Delaware champion at a yearling sale. Isn't she beautiful? Each year we seem to do a little traveling. One interesting place we went this year was into my horse's Just Troubles stomach when we took a trip to see Dr. Hazard. We made a journey with our standard breads from Down Under to the United States and we didn't even need a passport. We also visited the Kentucky Horse Park and saw one of my all-time favorite horses staying together. And we took in some world-class racing at the Red Mile with the champion Dewey Cheatham and Howe winning the Kentucky Fraternity in a three-heat race-off. Big nights of racing in 2008 included the final for the all-lady Mildred Williams International Driving Series. The Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition was on hand to educate fans. We highlighted the Progress Pace, Dover Downs' signature race that attracts the top three-year-old pacing colts in the country. We had a great time at the Delaware State Fair, but I wasn't the only one having fun. The Governor's Day card was packed with talented first state owned and bred horses. And Harrington Raceway brought in an amazing group of older pacers for the Quillen Memorial, which was won by Mr. Big, who raced huge. Of course, we put aside a special show for everybody's favorite charity race the Horse Lovers United Rickshaw Rumble. Yeah, so this is really messed up. Here I am, an old brood mare, and they gotta pull me out of the field and race me just to fill a race. You know, I ought to be retired by now, but I just keep on chugging along. It was a shocker when Tyler Davis beat four-time champion Mike Cole. <laughs> but Roger Bosch stole the show with his quick hitch harness and his Chippendale body. As usual, we had some first date stars stop by on post time. And thank goodness, the people I interview are pretty patient with me. Alan Iverson, nickname 76ers, anybody know? Does anybody have a cell phone I can borrow? Although our horsemen and women 
may have changed a little over the past 10 years, one thing stayed the same. My guests have been great sports and have been willing to share their lives and have some fun for the fans and disclose lots of intimate details about themselves. Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Is that just on your undies or shirts and pants too? I think Fruit of the Loom's undies. Do you remember what you had for lunch yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did know that we have no tax-free shopping. Yes, yes. yes. That right. and a lot of police officers. <laughs> <laughs> Is Elvis Cole related to Mike Cole? I don't think so. Elvis is much bigger and much better looking. Five dollars in your pocket. What's your wife only let you go out of the house with five dollars? Yeah, if I'm lucky sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't think we've ever had Mike on the show before, have we? Woo! Post time debut! <laughs> or at least he thought it was his debut on post time. Actually, earlier in the year, we did a reenactment of the racing legend's visit to Lucy J's restaurant in Harrington. I'd like a cheeseburger and french fries, pretty lady. We also had fun with Tim Tietrich, who proved to be a real bobblehead. But I totally mean that in a good way. Our most talked about feature of the year took us on the track and in the sulky with Vic Curvy. I'm, look, I'm looking pretty, leave me alone. Try to take the short, hey, hey, hey! Act like he wants to kick, I don't like that a whole lot. All right, we got two minutes to post. I'm 21 to one, that's not a good sign. It means the betters either don't like me, they don't like the horse, or they don't like either. I'm going to get a good check anyway. Get up here! Wagner out here in the way. Did I keep you informed the whole way? As a matter of fact, you did, Vic. Thanks to all the Post Time fans and supporters who keep the show going year after year and have made 2008 so memorable. You guys rock, and I am psyched for another spectacular season.